Hello my dreamers and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new. I hope you guys are all doing really well today. Today we're going to be coloring part four of our July color along and this is going to be the final part. I'm so excited to finish her. We've been working in Hannah Lynn's Fierce and Fancy Fantasy Faces and we've been working on the grayscale version of Lotus. This is what we have so far. She looks absolutely stunning. That eye makeup is just perfect. Definitely the main focal point of her. So in part three, I kind of left off unsure what I wanted to do with the background. There's two um, kind of color schemes that I was kind of debating. One of them was like a purple, orange, and yellow. And then the other was more kind of like, um, like a green and blue tone. Um, so I took a picture of this and put it on Photoshop and kind of did a mock-up of both backgrounds. And I'm so glad that I did that because the orange background actually looks, it did not look good at all with this. It was, well, I shouldn't say that it didn't look good. I mean, it looked okay, but it was very distracting. It definitely took away from what we have done so far and I really don't want to do that. So I think I'm definitely going to keep the background limited as well. So yeah, um, we only have the lily pads and the background left to do coloring wise and then the rest is just finishing touches, which I don't really think we'll need to do a whole lot of. Yeah, we might put some glitter on the water, but other than that, I don't really think there'll be a whole lot. Oh, I actually was debating on maybe doing like a couple little fireflies now that I know what the background's gonna be like. Um, I like to do things in threes, so I'm thinking maybe two on one side, one on the other kind of thing. We'll kind of play that by ear and see, but yeah, um, I think that's that about sums up the plan anyways. And with that, let's go ahead and dive on in. We are going to start on the lily pads first. I'm not going to bother basing them. I'm going to go directly in with the dark green and I'm going to focus this kind of where Hannah has um, the darker layers. I like the darker gray scale, I guess. Don't want this to be too dark, so I don't want to add too, too much. Grass green is next. Again, I'm not going to add too much of this either. I'm just going to lightly bring it out a little ways from the dark green. I think this little bit here was actually supposed to be a lily pad. Now that I'm looking at it, but oh well, it, it works as water too. I'm actually, I've recorded three parts today, which I really try not to do because I feel like my brain is fried. I actually have a headache, which I don't understand. Uh, I wasn't going to color today. I was going to finish this tomorrow, but I work tomorrow and then I'm actually going out with my coworkers. So I don't want to leave this unfinished. I'd rather get it finished and then... That way on Saturday, because today's Thursday, so tomorrow's going to be kind of a write-off. Um, Saturday, I can kind of start building up the videos. Tomorrow before work, because I work 11 to 4, it's kind of a weird shift. I might be able to get the thumbnails done and the intros. And then, yeah, Saturday, or, yeah, Saturday after work, then I can kind of start piecing everything else together and get this up for you guys. I gotta say, I'm, I'm really happy to have a little bit of a social life now. I really haven't had much of a social life for like the past 10 years. 
kind of sticking to myself and with rain, but it's nice to actually have friends. <laughs> that sounds so sad. I promise my life is not sad. <laughs> I'm content by myself. It's just nice to have other people to hang out with as well. Okay, let's color back here with the spring green. And then we'll leave little bits kind of alongside the lotus for the yellows. Or yellow, which I'm actually going to use the yellow chartreuse because it's got that green tone to it, but it's more yellowed. So this should work really well. It's so pretty. See, these almost look like they're glowing more than the lotus because the lotus is grayed out. I know I keep bringing that up, but I'm, I'm sad about it. <laughs> There, and that's it for the lily pads. All done. Super pretty. Oh, I guess I'm not zoomed in, which is good. I don't think we really need to be anyways, but I don't have to worry about constantly checking. All right, so let's start focusing on the background. We're going to dive straight on in with the indigo blue. I'm just going to start with light layers for now to kind of figure out how far we want to go up. We have three colors. And I don't want it to be too dark, so I don't know how big the indigo blue layer will be. Let's darken up the very base of this. Now let's have it start fading out right around here. So we're going to try and make the rest roughly match. It doesn't have to go straight across the board. You don't actually want that because then it looks kind of fake. So you can have it like go higher up in areas, go lower. That already looks so pretty. 
Oh, can't forget. I'm glad that I <laughs> glad that I was ogling this. Let's use the yellow chartreuse to kind of block in the fireflies. So I'm thinking one right here. Maybe one kind of coming out from the cattail. And then let's do one right there. Hmm. Should we do four? Like maybe one up here. No, let's keep them low. Okay, so with that in there, let's actually grab our lightest color, which is actually going to be the light green. I'm just going to lightly color around this with the light green. Let's carry this onto the other side now. Roughly bringing it up to about the same. Okay, so I think that's good for the indigo blue. Let's come in with our next color, which is going to be the cobalt turquoise.
This is such a soft pencil, usually I like it, but <laughs> right now not so much. Let's start fading this out towards our firefly here. about here we'll start fading in I don't really know it might be sooner but we'll just lightly go over it I'm wondering if maybe we should actually start working down from the top and should we put any yellow at the top? Mm, no. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just because I'm kind of losing daylight here. I don't know if it's actually this dark or just because the sun disappeared again. We are just going to carry on and hopefully it's all good. Okay, we're going to fade out right about here. I'm not fully burnishing this either. I don't know if I'm going to bring any other color up. I think I might, because otherwise it might look too flat at the top. Parrot green is our fourth color. I do at least want it here. So I'm just going to kind of block that in. I'll just bring this down a little ways. Let's 
add a little bit in here. Just kind of fading out above her head. Yeah, that's better. Much better. Okay, finish off the top with the light green. I'm happy with that. I'm kind of liking this textured look in the background, so I might not fully burnish everything. I might kind of leave it textured like that, because I do like that. And just add lots of layers to get that color in there. I am so glad I went with these colors. This is just beautiful already. And it complements her eyes a lot better too. Let's go back through these. We've got parrot green. And then light green.
I'm gonna fade this lightly into the yellow. And then with the yellow chartreuse, I'm just going to blend it back into the greens. Okay, I did pull out my light because I think it's just too dim. I, I don't know whether it was or not, but it's better safe than sorry. I know my computer can kind of doctor it up a little bit, but sometimes I worry that it won't be able to fix it enough. So, yep, definitely better safe than sorry. We've got a Miss Lilo bum in here too, so don't mind that. Um, okay, let's go back in with the cobalt turquoise a little bit. Okay, and let's go back with the parrot green just at the top here. I'm just going to add a tiny little bit here. It's hardly going to be noticeable, but just add a little bit of A little bit of interest here and then one thing I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna grab my black and a sip of my drink should I use black or should I use I'll probably use sepia or dark money Uh, let's start off with sepia. If that's not work, then I'll grab the dark on there. All right. Now with the sepia, we're just going to add some little bits to the background. Might actually need the black. It's not bad, but it's not showing up as well as I would like. Yeah, let's grab the black as well. It's going to bring out some of these lines on the cattails too so they don't blend in quite so much. I 
doesn't add a whole lot, but it adds enough. Adds a little bit. I'm just gonna grab my ginger root. This isn't gonna be in the colors listed because hopefully you guys didn't leave yours uncolored, but I'm just noticing that this part here is not as colored. It's actually pretty white. <laughs> All right, we didn't zoom in too much, so we should be good there. I'm going to grab my white. Do you want to add like little white spots in that maybe? I don't know, maybe not. Maybe some little white spots around it, though. Do some up here. And just a little bit of highlight to the reeds here. And some to the lily pads. And we can finish outlining the lotus. I'm like very tempted to take a paintbrush and just rub it all of the white that we have just to whiten up the background. I think I'm gonna leave it though. I think I have to because it might wreck it. <laughs> All right, so now the fun part, which is stickles. I think the only thing that I'm going to actually glitter up is the water because I don't really think anything else. Well, should we glitter up the, the um, fireflies? I don't know what that would look like. Let's see. It's kind of cute, actually. Let's do it. You don't have to use um, special colored stickles or glitter if you have just a clear glitter. That would work just lovely. I like to just put a little bit of stickles down and then just move them around so it's not dispersed all in one area. So yeah, the nice thing about clear stickles is you could just do whatever you want to stickle up would be perfectly fine. Or you can use colored stickles, totally up to you. I guess I wasn't thinking I probably shouldn't have done the glow around the, um, the lotus yet. I'm going to use 
Okay, I'm going to use a Q-tip to kind of put this in here. That way I don't have to swirl it around too much because it will get rid of the, the plastic pen underneath. I suppose we could have made the lotus um, sparkly instead of the water, but I don't know if I would do both. I think both might be too much. Yeah, the lotus would have been pretty to sparkle up too, but I, I definitely don't know if I would do both. We could use, actually, not everybody has this, so I apologize. Maybe I don't even have it. There it is. I'm going to use a uh, Stardust. I think that's what these are called, the... Jelly Roll Stardust, pretty sure. I'm just gonna create some glittery lines on the, on the Lotus. Can't remember how much these uh, Stardust pens cost. I got them at Michael's, I believe. They are nice if you just want a little shimmer. I know Hannah uses the Stardust pens um, to do her glittery accents on her artist cards, because that's why I initially bought these actually, but she uses a brush to put them on, and I'm not quite sure how she does that. Maybe one day I'll figure it out. So now that we have this out, do we want to put some in her hair too, maybe? I think that'd be too much. Let's not. If you do have a Stardust pen and you wanted to, I think I got it all, and wanted to actually make her makeup glittery, you can do some little dots on here. That way, not only does it actually appear glittery, but it is actually glittery. I'm obsessed with these eyes. They are different than the eyes that Hannah normally draws. I don't know if it's just the um, eyelashes or what, maybe the shape of them. Honestly, not sure. I think that's good. I don't think I would add glitter anywhere else, but totally up to you guys if you want to.
All right, here she is finished. So unfortunately, I did do like a couple small details last night um, and I didn't realize that I wasn't recording. I'm pretty sure that the only thing I did was I added a little bit of white on the chopsticks because they kind of fell into the background there a little bit too much. And then I just added this little crescent moon here. I was debating making it yellow, but I think I'm gonna leave it white. I kind of like it as is. Um, it is kind of the next day. We lost so much daylight last night with the sun kind of going in behind the clouds. Um, it, the glitter just wasn't showing up very well, so I figured that I would film a separate part just to kind of show you guys the glitter and then it's dried too, so it shows up better as well. So there's the glitter in the water. We've got a little bit of shimmer on the lotus there. A little bit of shimmer in her eyes. It's a little bit hard to tell. It's easy to see in person, but it's hard for the camera to pick up. Super pretty. I am just extremely thrilled with how she turned out. I hope you guys are too. If you guys followed along, I would love to see your finished pieces. You can use the hashtag dream in color along to share yours and make it easier for me to find. Or you can tag me in it or send them to me through email, Facebook, Instagram, DMs, anything like that. I would love to see them. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. If you like this color along, would you please give it a thumbs up? That way other people can find it. And if you're not a subscriber already, it would make my day if you'd subscribe to the channel. Definitely have lots of fun things planned in the future, even though I have limited time. I have big dreams. <laughs> So, yeah, we'd love to have you here for future endeavors and whatnot. But yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to go start on editing videos. Super exciting. I can't wait to get this out for you guys. All right. As always, take care and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.